How much did DAS actually contribute to the W11's utterly ridiculous dominance? Well, it's not like the W11 would have suddenly been a slow car without it. Mercedes had already cooked up an engine that sounded like it was powered by pure spite and an aerodynamic package that stuck to the track like superglue to a toddler's hair. The W11 was already a masterpiece of engineering. DAS was the cherry on top, the secret ingredient, the extra shot of espresso in an already perfectly potent brew. It was the marginal gain that pushed them from dominant to unbeatable. It allowed them to fine-tune tire performance in ways no one else could, giving them that extra edge in critical moments, qualifying, race starts, after safety cars. In a sport where races are won and lost by milliseconds, DAS was probably worth a tenth or two a lap in certain conditions, which, when you're already flying, is like giving Usain Bolt a jetpack. Its legacy is fascinating. The Mercedes W11 isn't just remembered for its sheer speed. It's remembered as the car that pushed the rulebook so hard, the rulebook pushed back. It's a prime example of F1's constant tension between boundless innovation and the desire for competitive balance. Teams are always looking for that next big thing, that clever interpretation, that one trick nobody else thought of. And sometimes, those tricks are so spectacularly effective that they force the governing body to step in and say, Stop it! The W11 and its DAS system stand as a testament to the relentless pursuit of performance in Formula One. It was a brilliant, daring innovation that was legal for a fleeting moment, allowed Mercedes to write another chapter in their history books, and then quietly, almost sheepishly, vanished from the regulations. It served its purpose. It made an already dominant car even more dominant, showcased Mercedes's incredible engineering prowess, and left a lasting mark on F1's rich tapestry of ingenious, controversial, and ultimately, banned technologies. It was the ultimate, albeit temporary, secret weapon. And it reminds us that in F1, if you find an advantage that's too big, you'd better enjoy it while it lasts, because the rulemakers are always watching, ready to throw their ban hammer down.